Oh my god, Pat's finally making a Dragon Ball video for once. Oh my god, it's been like a month from now. Oh my god, that channel. Oh my god. Guys, you're so freaking mean to me. Well, don't worry. We have some awesome news that we're going to be telling you guys today about Dragon Ball stuff. So, you know, just stop being so rude. Let's just freaking get to it. Two, one. Hello, my fellow citizens of the seventh universe. My name is Bat Player Two. If you wish to be that specific, and welcome back, my friends, once again to another Dragon Block C update teaser thing for you guys to check out today. I know it's been a hot minute since the last time we've done one of these. I'm just super happy that the mod's still being updated. I'm just very happy about that. But what we're gonna be checking out is stuff that isn't going to actually be in the mod yet but it's going to be happening in the coming months of this game so it's still being updated for people out there we weren't sure if the game was still going to be updated but it is going to be updated or at least it says it's going to be updated so that's freaking awesome but what are we going to check out today well it's teaser 20 w8 which is the dragon block c super sagas yes we're finally getting super content in Dragon Block C. I mean, yeah, there is super content already with, you know, the God Forms, Ultra Instinct, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, those are already in there. And there's Beerus too. But actually, technically, Beerus started out as a Z character. So technically, you can fight that one. But regardless, here it is. It says here, hello, everybody. This is a small update for 2020. The next update will focus on continuing the saga for Dragon Block C, finishing Dragon Ball Z, and going on to Dragon Ball Super. So we're finally, I think like... The ending, is it the ending fighting just normal boo? It's been so long since I've actually done the main saga system of Dragon Block C. Is it like the last fight? Is it Super Boo or is it Buhan? I don't remember, but I guess regardless, finally we get to do Kid Boo stuff, which is good because it's always weird that we never, fi it was so close to finishing it and it just never got to that point. Instead, Jin focused mostly on making the mod more playable and more you know, just fun to play with in general and made it actually work for crying out loud. So he didn't really touch the saga system that much. But hey, I'm just really happy to do this. But it won't go all the way through Super just yet. But hopefully that will be released not too far in the future as well. Also, I'll be focusing on giving back the options to use other older HUD mods. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So we get to use some of the HUD mods that we used to be using back in the day of Dragon Block C. Probably, like, I would love to see some of the old HUDs from, like, you know, back in 1.6.4 times when the mods were first starting out. That'd be kind of cool just to, like, you know, go ahead and check it out for that. That's actually kind of a really neat update. Also, it says, I have made a short video here for content not related to the sagas. You can check that out here. Basically... I'm not going to play the video because I don't want him. I don't want these guys to get mad at me. This is coming from the Gen Games um, YouTube channel. So if you want to check out the entire video, you're more than welcome to. But um, here is an update. You see right here, this little rocket that's coming off the screen right now. This rocket is actually coming from the Red Ribbon Army robots. Because right now, the Red Ribbon Army robots are only firing key blasts at you. They're not actually firing anything interesting. This right here is something that they're going to be firing instead, which is really freaking cool. We're actually finally getting models for attacks which then can lead to other things like you know other hd textures for the kamehameha waves because we've been dealing with the same kamehameha waves and key blast waves for i think ever i don't think that they have ever changed ever in the in the time that i've ever played dragon block i don't think they've ever changed that being said we don't really touch key blast because key blast usually breaks servers so we never really touch it that much but hey at least now they're working on it. They're planning on making the mod a little bit better for, you know, just in general, just looking better, which is something that Dragon Block needs in the future. And that is good because, my God, this mod is really, really old and it's still using really, really old assets. I mean, for crying out loud, I still see Key Blast, but back in the day when I used to play this mod in 2012. So I'm good to see that, you know, finally things are getting updated. And also, if you're not okay with how the new stuff looks, you could look like. With this one, you could kind of go back to what they used to be. That's freaking awesome. Now, to talk about the Dragon Block C Super Saga system. Now, in order to add the Dragon Block C Super Saga, you know, you have to go through a lot of stuff. This stuff is going to be like, you know, late game things. You're not going to be able to beat up 
Beerus, Goku Black, you know, Jiren Race, all that stuff. Now, that makes me wonder because some of this stuff does require you to be in certain areas in order to activate the saga systems. Maybe with the Dragon Block C Super Saga that we'll finally get new maps. I would love to see some new maps in Dragon Block C or just, you know, areas that you can go to with the pods. Or maybe, oh, here we go. Maybe they make a time machine variant of the pod which lets you take to other areas instead. So instead of just going to like, you know, Namek and Planet Vegeta, now you could go to different areas such as like Beerus's planet. You could go to the future in order to uh, take on Goku Black and Zamasu. Maybe it also can bring you over to the Tournament of Power or the Universe 6 and universe um, multi-universe tournament stages. That would be freaking dang cool. Now, I don't know if they would actually do that because, especially for the tournament stages, people usually have already made those maps already, so maybe just, you know, just play on those if you really wanted to do something with that. Also, too, adding a broken city, that's not terrible, but it might take a little bit of time because a lot of the maps that uh, Dragon Block C have made already doesn't have buildings. There are a few buildings out there that you can find in the real world. Yay, cool, and the Mechian buildings are, like, you know, small as crap so it's not really that crazy but <laughs> they're, not, they're not really that much to them so if we decide to make a broken down west city to resemble the destroyed future for goku black and zamasu that would be cool but at the same time yeah that might be a little bit too much just find a broken city map somewhere and just put goku black over there it would be kind of cool but you have to take into account that yes you do have the way that the saga systems have always worked is that you have to be in certain areas in order to get certain mobs to spot. So, like, you know, with Android 19, Android 20, and you needed you needed to be in a rocky biome, which I really hope they adjust the uh, spawn rates when it comes to the rocky biomes because, my God, finding rocky biomes in the overworld when you have a bunch of other mods on top of it is like you have to go out there for at least a half hour just going in a straight line that finally finds something. It's not really ideal, so I really hope they up the spawn rate of the Rocky systems, or at least make them, like, bigger, so that we can actually see them, or make you, so that you spawn in a Rocky biome, so you don't have to worry about finding one to begin with. That would be pretty dang cool, but, you know, I'm just kind of listing off things that are on my bucket list, my wish list, basically, and hopefully, maybe one day, they'll touch it. If not, not really the worst thing in the world, it's just kind of like, you know, quality of life changes. But anyways, let's talk about the Dragon Block C Super Saga system. Now, the fact that Super Saga is going to be added into this game, what else are they going to be touching? Now, this could just be the Saga system, but I saw also when it comes to the update that they're actually redoing some of the moves for Naruto C. They have like one of Madara's moves, or I think it was the um, Fire Style Fireball Jutsu. I move. I didn't really look at what it was called. I just saw a texture flying across the screen. It looks pretty dang cool. It's very textured. It's got smoke effects off of it, which looks really cool. And maybe too, we'll be able to get some new stuff with that. What else are they going to be adding? Well, they kind of already added all the forms already. So I wouldn't see any new forms unless they start doing what if stuff, which right now Dragon Block has never done what if stuff. That's more like servers have done it with their stuff. And they're like, oh yeah, you could get Super Saiyan 5 or something like that. It's, um, you can people have already messed with that already, so I don't know if Dragon Block C is going to be doing stuff that the servers have already done themselves. So, you know, that's something that we'll just have to, you know, figure out on our own. If anything, we still got everything, so, you know, that's perfectly fine. But, yeah, there are really cool things when it comes to the fact that Dragon Block C is being updated. I'm just super happy that we're actually finally getting updates to this game. And we also have, you know, a message that says that they're not planning on stopping anytime soon, that they're going to keep working on it. I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy to see that we're going to get some new Dragon Block content. And it's because it's been years since the last time we've actually got major content to this, um, to this series and mod pack. So, you know, it's really cool to finally get something. Now, there is one thing. There is one thing. <laughs> there is one thing I want Dragon Block C to do, which I've never seen anything on it. But I really want them to do. Okay, guys, you want to see this? It doesn't have to do with forms. It doesn't have to do with, you know, characters. It doesn't have to do with sagas. It doesn't have to do with quality of life changes. Well, maybe quality of life is kind of thrown in there, but not particularly in-game. This is something I've wanted for a long time. You guys ready for this? It's crazy. I know. Make Dragon Block C a 1.12.2 mod. Come on, just freaking put it on 1.12.2. I've been working with 1.12.2 mods now for, for like a year or two now, and my god, 
going from 1.7.10 to 1.12.2 is freaking like night and day. The, the versions are so different, and there's so much more stuff that you could do in 12.2 compared to 7.10. 7.10, yes, I have tried out and played with 7.10 for years, and I believe 7.10 is still a superior uh, version of Minecraft, but 12.2 just blows it out of the freaking water, my friends. It just blows it out of the water. I just want to be able to play Dragon Block City on 12.2 because of the fact that there are so many other mods in 12.2 that would work so well with Dragon Ball, but we can't really touch um, play with them because they're completely different versions of the game. They just collide and conflict, and then, you know, Minecraft crashes, and then probably crashes your computer because that's how Minecraft works half the time. So yeah, it's not that good. I want to be able to play this game in 1.12.2. Maybe one day we'll get that version of 1.12.2. I really don't know how hard it is to code a game from a previous version of Minecraft to a newer version. I've never made a Minecraft mod in my life because I don't understand coding at all. <laughs> and I'm probably never going to. Those are for people that are way smarter than me, way more talented than me. I'm going to let them do it, but... That's something I've always wanted. It would just make everything run smoother. Because I believe, too, that 1.12.2 is just a much smoother version of Minecraft than 7.10. 7.10 feels, like, chunky and blocky. I know. I don't mean to say blocky because it's Minecraft. It's blocks everywhere. But it really does. It feels like I'm, like, running in, like, a PowerPoint presentation half the time when I'm running 7.10. But with 12.2, it feels, like, smooth as day. I know. It's good. <laughs> and also, I have a bunch of... Shaders that would make the game look super nice, and I need them on 12.2, please. Please, guys, I would love to see Dragon Block on 12.2. It'd be good. It'd be great. It'd be fantastic. But, you know, in the meantime, I'm just really happy to see that Dragon Block is actually going to be updated, and things are actually happening with Dragon Block. It's crazy. I thought this mod was going to be basically over, and we just have to work with the current version of the mod for the rest of time. But, nope. We actually have something for us to check out, and it's really freaking cool in the future. Hopefully, it's not too long. I'm hoping that at least we get a majority of the, uh, the saga system during the summer. That would be really freaking good. Maybe we can finally get something out maybe April? I, I don't know. I'm just throwing some ideas out there. Maybe in April we'll get some like actual updates for this. But for the time being, I'm just really happy that they actually did update us on this and let us know that there's actually going to be updates to Dragon Block C. Freaking awesome. But on that note, everybody, I'm going to say thank you guys for joining me once again. You guys happy the fact that Dragon Block C is still being updated and it's not like, you know, a over mod? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. What else would you like to see in Dragon Block C, by the way? What else would you like to see? Um, would you like to see just more quality of life changes? Would you like to see my 12.2 idea? Would you like to see custom forms, custom mobs, doing some crazy stuff with Dragon Block that you couldn't do with, like, custom NPCs or so? Let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear what you guys have to say about that because, hey, some of the stuff that you guys have to say is, like, way better than I could do. I'm, like, sitting here. I'm, like, 26 years old, and half the time you guys are making, like, 200 IQ ideas where I'm making like 50 IQ ideas. So please let me know in the comments below. But on that note, everybody, I'm going to say thank you guys for joining once again, and I will be seeing you later. <laughs>